Hi friends, this is Maria LaPuma. Welcome to Motivation Monday. I hope you are well and taking good care of yourself today. In today's live, I'm guiding you through a sequence of tapping, emotional freedom techniques, also known as tapping, to help you to release any stress or overwhelm you might be feeling or carrying in your body right now. So thanks for joining me today and um, yeah, I'm excited to share this. If you are new to emotional freedom techniques or tapping, I will put something in the link that will explain it in more detail, but for today's purposes, I'll just share a little bit. So tapping is um, a meridian-based technique that is um, well-researched and evidence-based. And it's a basically a somatic way of releasing um, discomfort, distressing emotions, stress in the body. And um, it's, it's shown to be uh, very effective for many, many things. Um, it's one of the techniques that I teach and use regularly. And um, so I'm excited to share this with you today. Thanks for joining me. Hi, Renee. Hi, Michelle. Good to see you today. So um, stress and overwhelm, I think that um, particularly this time of the year, uh, many people might be feeling um, some stress. I One of the reasons I chose this topic today was because I've been feeling a little stressed and overwhelmed. I have uh, a very full life and a lot of projects and a lot of changes. So I've been in my personal life doing some tapping on just to release the stress and overwhelm so I could be in the flow more fully. So you might be feeling triggered by a situation in your life and feeling stressed out by it, or maybe the holiday season, maybe um, you have too much to do. For whatever reason you um, might be feeling stressed or overwhelmed, you can apply this too. So I'm going to just show you, guide you through a basic round of tapping. And we're going to use the classic EFT tapping. And then we'll be more specific about helping to release the stress and overwhelm in the body. So first off, if you choose to follow along with me, I encourage you, I know that you will be taking full responsibility for your health and well-being. And, and then you are free to follow along, of course. The other thing is that usually we like to start off with a measurement. We use something called the SUD scale, subjective units of distress, to measure how stressed or overwhelmed we're actually feeling in the body. So you can take a moment and check in with yourself. Maybe take a deep breath in. And on the exhalation, release and let go. And another deep breath in, breathing in. And on the exhalation, just release and let go. And one more time, breathing in. And on the exhalation, release and let go. And as I said before, I'm going to show you the points that we'll be using today and then we'll get more specific. So with the classic EFT tapping, we always start on the side of the hand, the fleshy part of the hand. It's also known as the karate chop. And this is where we make our setup statement. And the setup statement is about acknowledging what is true for us. So sometimes, you know, people say, oh, it's negative because we're focusing on some, the pain or the problem, but we just want to acknowledge and accept what is true for us in the moment. So we would start with a setup statement by tapping on the side of the hand and you repeat the setup statement three times. So the setup statement starts with acknowledging the problem and then there's an ex a statement of acceptance. So we say, even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Now for today's purposes, you could say, even though I'm feeling stressed and overwhelmed, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And you can take it one step further 
and see if you can tune into where you might be feeling it in your body because the stress is in our body. Even though our thoughts create stress, we feel it in the body. You could say, even though I'm feeling stressed and overwhelmed and I feel tightness in my shoulders, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Now, if you're struggling with the love and acceptance piece, you can just say, wouldn't it be nice if I could be more accepting of myself? Or I'd like to love and accept myself. Eventually, if you just start saying that, you will find that it will start to shift you and you'll have more acceptance of how you're showing up in the moment. So we start with that. And then we do a round identifying the problem. So the first point would be on the eyebrow point. And you say, this stress in my body, this stress in my body. And again, the most important piece of this is where you're bringing your attention, okay? You wanna tap the points. EFT is very forgiving, so if you don't get exactly the right point, that's okay. Again, where you bring your attention, and you can tap on either side of the face or both sides of the face. Underneath the eye, this stress in my body, top of the lip, this stress in my body. Crease of the chin, you can bring your attention to whatever it is that's stressing you out. On the collarbone, this stress in my body. Underneath the arm. And top of the head. Take a deep breath in and let it go. So that is one full round of tapping. Now we're gonna do a few rounds and we're gonna change what we say as we move through the process. So you just follow along with me and um, you can change the words to fit you more truthfully. And um, let's see how it goes. So first off, I want you to tune into what it is that you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed with right now. And notice if you're feeling it in your body anywhere. There's no right or wrong here. Just tune into it. And then you can measure it on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being the most. If you're really feeling stressed out, you're feeling tight in your body, you're feeling overwhelmed, it might be a 10. If it's just a little bit, it might be a five. And if it's a zero, then we don't need to be tapping on this today. Anyway, tune into it. And then we'll begin. So start on the side of the hand. You could move your shoulders. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Even though I feel this stress and overwhelm in my body, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel this stress and overwhelm in my shoulders and back, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm feeling so stressed and overwhelmed, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Tap on the eyebrow. And as you're tapping, bring your awareness to what is triggering your stress. And we'll just identify the problem, all of this stress and overwhelm in my body, the side of the eye, all of this stress and overwhelm in my body, underneath the eye, all of this stress and overwhelm in my body. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Top of the lip, this tension in my body. Crease of the chin, this tightness in my body, on the collarbone, all of this stress and overwhelm in my body, underneath the arm. Take a deep breath in and let it go. The top of the head, even though I'm feeling stressed and overwhelmed in my body, 
I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Side of the eye, even though I'm feeling stressed and overwhelmed in my body, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Remembering to breathe at each point underneath the eye, even though I'm feeling stressed and overwhelmed, I deeply and completely love and accept myself and my body. Top of the lip. All of this stress and overwhelm, I accept myself with love and compassion. Crease of the chin, even though I'm feeling stressed and overwhelmed, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself on the collarbone. Take a deep breath in and let it go underneath the arm. Breathing in and letting go. Tap the top of the head. Even though I'm feeling stressed and overwhelmed, now we identify how we want to feel. I want to feel at ease. On the eyebrow. Even though I'm feeling stressed and overwhelmed, I want to let it go and feel at ease. The side of the eye. I want to feel at peace and at ease. Underneath the eye, I want to let it go and be at peace. Top of the lip. Wouldn't it be nice if I could just let it go and be at peace? Crease of the chin. I want to be in the flow and trust that if I let it all go, everything will work out in its highest good on the collarbone. Take a deep breath in and let it go. I want to be at peace as I move through my day. Underneath the arm, I want to address whatever needs to be addressed, feeling at peace and centered. Top of the head, take a deep breath in and let it go. Now we say, I choose. Even though I'm feeling some stress and overwhelm, I choose to release it and let it go. On the eyebrow, I choose to let it go and trust. I choose to remember that everything is always working out for good. I choose to let it go and be at peace. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Top of the lip. Close your eyes and tune into what that would feel like to really let it go, to be free and at ease. Crease of the chin. What would that look like and feel like to be embodying the essence of peacefulness? Breathing in and letting go on the collarbone. I choose to let it go and be at peace. And you could move your head and your shoulders underneath the arm. Take a deep breath in again and let it go. Top of the head. Soften and flow. I'm letting it go. On the eyebrow. Release and let go. I'm letting it go. The side of the eye. Take a deep breath in and let it go. It's safe to let it go. Underneath the eye, it's time to let it go. Top of the lip and tune into the freedom that you might be feeling if you could really let this go. Offering it up to the universe, letting it go. Crease of the chin. Breathing in and letting go, and tuning into peace on the collarbone. I choose to step into my peace, to feel alignment with the part of me that knows that everything is always working out for good. Underneath the arm, 
Take a deep breath in and let it go. And tuning into that feeling of peacefulness. We choose to embrace peace. Top of the head. Breathing in and letting go. Ease and flow. Release and let go. You can bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in and let it go. And shake it out a little bit. Drinking water is wonderful with this process. So if you have water handy when you're tapping, because tapping stirs things up and releases them. So the, we want to, water helps with the flow. So drinking lots of water. Notice if you've shifted, if anything has changed on the sud scale. And sometimes when we're tapping, especially when we're new to this, we stir things up and we don't even realize that we might have been feeling even worse than we actually let ourselves know at the beginning. But that's okay because the point of this is that we're moving, we're getting energy flowing. And sometimes we have stuck energy in the body and our emotions are just energy and energy wants to flow. So if your SUS scale level, if your SUDS, if your SUDS level went down, then that's wonderful. If it went up, it's still wonderful because you can continue to tap and move through this. Now, sometimes when we're feeling stressed and overwhelmed, it's just a trigger for something deeper. It might have brought you to a memory or an experience. And so you can go ahead and you can tap on the next level. It's sort of like peeling the onion. Now, I want to also say that if you are experiencing, have had trauma and tapping is a very easy, um, simple practice to self-apply. But if um, you know that you've had trauma or something like that is stressing you out, it's really important to get the aid of a professional to um, help you, to hold space for you, because emotional freedom techniques is plural. It's not that one simple tapping sequence. There are many practices involved in the techniques and a trained professional will know exactly how to help you move through that. That being said, I've taught these techniques to children as young as three and four years old. I've taught it in schools for test taking anxiety. It's a wonderful, effective technique to get the energy flowing, to release the stress and overwhelm in your body. So if you are still feeling challenged with stress and overwhelm, I encourage you to go back and replay this and put your words to it. Breathing and tapping and drinking water and get the energy flowing. And ultimately finishing up with this understanding of how is it that you want to feel. Tune into the energy of how you want to feel and tap on that. So I'm so glad that you, those, there's a few of you that have joined me today and I'm sure on the repeat many other people will be joining. I would love to hear your thoughts, your questions, if you found this to be effective. And um, yeah, so happy Monday. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful, peaceful, stress-free day and um, look forward to seeing you next time. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Bye now.